Hello, welcome back. Good to have you back to my channel. Please thank you for your thumbs up, for liking my video, and for sharing of this video. Thank you so much. Alright, in our previous video, we considered the first stage of problem solving. That was what we did on our previous videos. So in this video, we'll be looking out onto the other stages of problem solving, basically on stage 2 and stage 3. Now you agree with me that we said earlier that problem solving is made up of seven stages precisely. Then we'll say one is problem definition, which we consider in our previous video, generating alternative, evaluation of alternative, developing solution, coding and implementation, program testing and debugging, and finally program documentation. Our focus in this video will be on stage two and stage three, which is generating alternative and evaluation of alternative. Alright, let's kick off. Now, after we have understood the problem domain we intend to solve, that is after we are done with the stage one, which is problem definition, the next thing we we'll have to do is to look at several ways we can solve that particular problem. Take for example, um, uh, there is a hunger problem and we need to solve the hunger. Then we want to make food. We want to make food. Uh, we want to let me say let me use um, a pussy soup in Nigerian dialect we call melon soup precisely. Now in Nigeria as a nation there are several ways we can make a pussy soup. Some people tend to fry the melon while cooking. Some persons tend to boil the melon while cooking. Now there are others, other ways also they can so person used to mold it like a paste, mold it into water to boil to while cooking. So there are several ways people just mix it with oil while cooking. There are just several ways of solving that problem of cooking a pussy soup. Now we are so what we are doing at this stage is that we have to <coughs> highlight <coughs> bring out sorry, bring out every parts of ways we could solve this problem and that is what we are looking at in this video now you know one thing that people does or is just to take one way or to solve a problem and just jump into it no at this stage now we have to postpone any selection of one method until all alternative has been proposed we must postpone section of any method of solving until all alternative has been proposed so so that's one thing we must do at this stage now first thing again all that we're going to have to consider is former team members who just have to take ideas to achieve that purpose of several ways we must meet our team members and we'll take idea from every one of us as to achieve this goal that must be done if we must bring out several alternatives in solving the problem as a team lead you don't have to do all things by yourself you just have to carry your team along you know uh, why we bring out several ideas from our from our team we have to mold them into a particular aspect of problem we tend to solve so by so doing we could see that there is one <coughs> method may be more effective than the other that's truth about it or method can be more effective than the other based on the problem domain. Please note that based on the problem domain, a particular method might suit this domain today, why it will not fit the other domain, even if it's the same scenario. So that based on the problem domain, we we'll have to choose a particular method in solving our problem. You know, somebody said considering multiple alternatives can significantly enhance the value of your ideal solution. Yes, I agree to that statement simply because if one solution fails, we can implement another. But when we have only one alternative and it fails, nothing else can be done. So it's important you have several alternatives. That's one benefit. So that when once one fails, we can try another alternative. What you will have our problem solved. Now, having said that, the next is looking at is evaluation of alternative. <coughs> I said earlier, there are several ways to make melon. We talked about the frying of the melon, talked about the boiling of the melon. So, having um, 
elicit all method or several ways, all alternative to solve that particular problem. Now, it's not left for us to choose to evaluate them based on our problem domain. The aim of this stage, of this stage 3 of problem solving, is to identify the most appropriate solution to the problem under study. Let me give you a scenario, for example. Assuming the person who wants to make that soup is an is an ulcer patient. An ulcer patient by default doesn't eat fried meals. So if we are choosing the method of frying the kusi, we might tend to solve that problem. However, we will bring out another problem or will trigger another issue in the life of that person. While trying to solve the hunger problem, will be triggering the ulcer challenge he or she is having. So our aim is not to solve problems to create another problem. We are here to solve problems. It's called problem solving, not problem solving creation of another problem. So the aim here is to identify most appropriate solution. Now, for example, assuming we are looking at the best way to cook our soup as to stay longer in, a, in, in, in an environment where there is no light. For example, if you're having a light issue, you agree with me that boiling a goosey and frying a goosey, the fried one will be last longer, will be more preserved longer in case you have light, in case there is power failure compared to the one that was boiled. So that is just how it is. So you have to look at the problem domain before you can choose your best or your most appropriate alternative. So in this case also, we also have to brainstorm with our team members. Else, if we tend to do it on ourselves, we will not be able to see the, the, the advantages that comes with several alternatives. So we have to brainstorm with one another for us to able to come out with the most appropriate alternative in this stage. So we have to brainstorm and working as a team, very important, working as a team. For the purpose to do that. Now, there are several things we must consider before coming out with the final alternative. Number one, that alternative that we want to want to um, adopt must solve the problem without causing other unanticipated problem. Now, I just said earlier that, for example, when you give an ulcer patient fried equusi soup, you have solved the problem of hunger. But you have triggered that ulcer challenges he or she is having. So that particular alternative we are choosing must be able to solve the problem without causing other problems. Now, number two, all the team members must accept that alternative. A team lead must not impose an alternative on his members. All the members having evaluated alternatives together must be able to adopt and accept one particular alternative. Now, and that alternative that we are adopting must be easy to implement and easy. You know, people just make that mistake that they, they just pick an alternative and they cannot implement and they struggle along the line. So it must be easy to implement and also meet the team's or organizational constraints. So you must meet your budget, you must meet whatever you want to do. So these are three considerations we must meet. Number one, it must not cause unexpected problem. It must be accepted by your team and they say also importantly, it must be easy to implement. Now in our next video we'll be looking at we'll be looking at looking at the subsequent and uh, ways ways to Develop method of solution having taken a one um, alternative. So please sit well if you want to learn more. Thank you.